Philippe, we're round eight in Rotterdam here for the Nations Cup. Belgium got a bit of work to do. Tell us about what you think about that. Yeah, I think tomorrow is a, is a hell of a job. Uh, we have to stay in front of the, the Americans. And, but the Americans are looking in great, great form as winning Dublin, winning the Global in, uh, in Falcons World. And so uh, it's going to be really tough and, and hard, I think. Now, we must talk about your horse. Two double clears in Rome and, and Dublin last week, plus a, a, a two other clears. What a fantastic horse. Tell us about it. Yeah, he's like Vigo is a championship horse. He's a very secure horse. So I'm not going to speak too quickly now because tomorrow he has to do the most important job. Uh, but I rely on him, and he relies on me. He's uh, plenty score, very careful. He's looking, he's looking very sharp. He's in good conditions. Arken, he jumped a little bit less because he had a lot of breathing to do. So it's uh, a little bit tiring for him. But uh, since after Arken, he never covered any mare, so he's, he's back in good form. Okay, tell us how many mares does he cover each year? Uh, we don't have the results yet, but I think this year is going to be something of 200. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. So he's stamping himself as a, uh, hopefully will stamping himself as a great, not just a great jumper, but a great stallion as well. He has already falls, well, horses who are now, now the oldest ones are nine, and they're already uh, having a lot of good results. There were two Vigos here in the seven-year-olds, looking really good. I have one at home, a six-year-old, who's very special, so it's, it's, the breeding is he's going to be very good. Getting a horse as good as that, is that a, you know, everyone dreams of owning a horse like Vigo. They're not easy to find, are they, these days? No, there's not, they're not easy to find and then you have to take time and uh, make, them, make them up slowly. What I, what I see around is that uh, riders nowadays, with, due to sponsoring, owners, everything is going too quick. They're, they're, they don't give them time enough. Uh, I'm speaking about 10 or 15 years ago, the riders were going to take slower and smaller classes. And now when they're 7 and 8, they start to win, they start to kick. They, they, they have to produce results because they've been bought for a certain price. Vigo was not like this. He was uh, already approved as four-year-old stallion. So his stallion career is always going first. And he just did the, the four-year-old, the five-year-old, and six-year-olds really easy. And then I had him when he, at the end of his seven. And I, I took, it took me uh, more than a year to build him up and, and to, to bring him. And every year he was improving. I, I remember in, in Windsor and the European Championships, that's only two years ago, he, he was already 11. And I kept saying, I, I'm going to improve him. He's going to improve. And well, okay, the results everybody knows now. And of course, world champion from Kentucky. What was it like riding the other horses there, Hickstead and horses like that? For me, it was a dream. It was fantastic. I had uh, I had four fantastic horses to ride because they were the four best horses at that moment in the best form. Uh, they were all a little bit different, but the Hickstead was, apart from my Vigo, Hickstead was far away the best horse. He's, He's fantastic to ride. He's he's got the last quality, his carefulness. He's got scope enough. He's he's uh, uh, competition-minded, and and he's also a very sweet horse. He's a very nice horse. He's adorable. So it's it was really a pleasure to ride this horse. Well, it was great to see you there. And of course, tomorrow it's about the Nations Cup. But in a few weeks' time, we've got the European Championships as well. Have you got any plans set for the Europeans? Do you know anything about the teams yet? Uh, I think uh, the, the three sure ones are uh, Jos Lansing, Gregory Watley and myself and then Chef de Kip is uh, watching here for uh, the fourth and the, and the reserve rider. Well, Philippe, the very best of luck tomorrow with your wonderful horse, Vigo. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.